everybody, it's me, Lady Vivian. I'm re-recording the thing I already recorded because I recorded it without a picture. Oh yes, all the narrative was there, no pictures. So we're starting over, but it was a really short one. I just want to show you what I've been doing um, here on the Vale around Faldor's farm. So for starters, I added some lights to the dining room because oh, it was too dark in here and I think it looks cute. I like dining by candlelight. Faldor would love it. I'm pretty sure they dined by candlelight. And so that is one thing that I have added. Um, here's a couple other things, just so you know. Uh, in the kitchen, we had a chest here with random enchanted books. I put a note here that says I've moved them to the flower farm uh, because over at the flower farm, I also added some light posts out here. Over at the flower farm, we have now a place for those. And I want to put some more things. We need more things. Um, I know that there's a hole, there was a swimming hole that they played in. So maybe that'll be a next thing. I don't know. Um, so in the flower farm, uh, I have added an enchanting area so you when you have all these levels and you don't know what to do with them you can put them into books so Skelly built this beautiful storage for all the skeleton drops and then I added this beautiful um, spot to do your enchanting um, I love this I'm super happy with the lapis and the copper together. I think it looks amazing. And then I have a, a enchanting table here and I have books and lapis and paper and leather. And then over here we have anvils and lots more anvils. And we have um, that darn iron farm. I gotta find a way to turn that thing off. Uh, name tags, more iron to make more anvils if you need it. There's tons of iron in the blacksmith shop if you just need iron. A bed so you can set your spawn and rest. And then the books are over here and they're divided by the treasure enchantments, mending, unbreaking silk touch, and then things that go on armor. And I even spelled it the British way for Scally. And things that go on swords and things that go on bows, crossbows and tridents. And then things that go on tools and things that go on fishing poles. So plenty of room for us to put our books in and um, they're all in there, all the ones that were in the kitchen, plus the extra ones I had at home, plus the ones that I just made with my levels are all in there. So um, that's our enchanting. It looks really good. Oh, love that ceiling. Okay, and then uh, looks like we should put some food on our hot bar. Looks like we should eat. And... Oh, I guess I could smack. Yeah, it's kind of want the skellies to start falling because then they just never quit. But I don't want to... Um, here, we'll do this. I want to sleep before I go out there and it's almost sleeping time, but not quite. So let's chop the bamboo. Whenever you come, if you would just chop the bamboo, it would be super helpful just to keep us all fueled up for smelting things. And also what can go in here for smelting is uh, the bows, the, the ones that are almost dead that the skeletons drop. Those can go in here. And uh, there's plenty of already combined uh, plain bows if you need to make dispensers or if you just need to repair your bow. There's lots of those over there. So uh, if you wanna just put the rest of the bows in these, um, in these uh, barrels, then they will be uh, awesome fuel for smelting our cactus or whatever it is you need to smelt, right? We got lots of cactus in here. Actually, I'm gonna, I'll move some of this out to the cactus barrel while we're at it. And that keeps going and doing its thing. Cactus barrel's getting full. Uh, is there no room in the green? There is not. So extra grain, I guess, is here in the bottom. This is kind of what I made the um, upstairs storage for, is for extra stuff. When things start overflowing, then we'll keep it upstairs. Um, then I'll sleep and we'll go look at the other thing I built. 
Uh, Skelly was saying we needed a place to store community storage and I thought it would be fun if we didn't just make an item sorter in a giant building full of storage things. Uh, and he suggested a barn, so I made a barn. I hope that he likes it because it's a little more uh, distressed looking than the house. Of course, your barn's going to be a little more distressed than your house. But um, I copied this. This is, I absolutely followed a tutorial by Jerracraft, who I absolutely adore. And it's an old one, but it's a goodie. And it's got a little crane over there for loading things in. And so let's start with the outside. Around this side, I added a pig sty. Uh, Faldor's farm is famous for its hams. And we didn't have any pigs uh, in the whole Faldorness. And so I thought it was really good to get some pigs here. Dude, why are you hiding? You don't want carrots? You do want carrots. Okay, anybody else? I think that's everybody. And so um, I bred up some pigs. If you would like pigs for your uh, base, there are some leads here. You can take a pig home. I copied also my friend Shudlike, who showed me how to make a muddy looking pig sty, although he has grass around the edge of his, and he has noticed that the pigs just hang out on the grass. So I just eliminated the grass. My pigs have nowhere to hang out except in the mud. So uh, I love it. I gave him a little watering hole there, uh, mainly because I needed a water source. <laughs> And I forgot we have a well, so I couldn't find the water source. So I just made a quick one. I thought, oh, the pigs will like that. So there's our pig sty. And I have a bunch of little things around. I love the little tiny player things that you can buy from the trader. So as you enter, there's a place for your horses. Greldig's hanging out here right now. There are stalls. Um, to put your horse in when you come to Faldor's farm and there's fresh water for them and fresh hay on the ground so they can be comfortable and in case you need a lead to tie them up to a you know fence or something because you don't have a saddle there are leads in there and then all around the barn there are storage things so most of them are still empty uh, but they're all around and I rather than label them and stuff I thought it'd just be fun if you poked around in every single one to find what you want right and then you'll remember where they are put that dumb thing in there those people the nonsense people showed up here is a link to the barn tutorial uh, Jared craft but I will also put this in the description um, so that if you are interested in making a barn on another world you are welcome to do so there this is the little tower and there is um, storage in here I put cobble I put some different dirts um, this is gravel uh, some of these are still empty that is bone blocks that I use to make the thing I like the bone blocks because they're kind of a slightly dirtier white so they're not as white as the white concrete um, I love the texture of the bone blocks. It's really subtle, but I do love it. And uh, I really love walking on them. I love the noise they make. Uh, wood things are in here, all kinds of wood, including leaves. Um, and then various things as you figure out what you want to put. If you have stuff you want to store, feel free to store it here. If you have stuff you want to take that you need, feel free. Uh, there's storage goes all the way up the tower and there's room as you can see for tons more but I just kind of kept it small right now so that it would look fun but you can we can add so we can add as much as we need to and uh, we have lots more room to add lots more barrels chests whatever we need so lots of room for storage in the tower and then um, Come on, ladders, ladders, I am ladder impaired. And then there's a little uh, hayloft up here uh, where there's a bed if you need to set your spawn or hang out. There's more storage up here. Um, there's hay, of course, because it's a hayloft. And then out here, there's a little crane that's that's taking the hay bales off of the hay wagon that has come to deliver the hay bales. And it came up a new road that I made and I've lined it with spruce trees. And so we'll go down and look at that, but um, that's a kind of a little, little Easter egg back there for you. You're probably not gonna walk around the back of this barn very often, <laughs> but if you do, you will see a hay wagon. 
Uh, this way to Upper Gralt. I really feel like that sign needs to be like facing the road more, but I didn't change it. Um, that's the road to Upper Gralt. We went everywhere looking for pigs, by the way. I, had, I ended up having to go all the way back home where I do not have pigs. I had to go beyond my house in the Vale to find pigs. So, and drag two of them here on a lead. Always festive. If you didn't see that, it's currently on my video on demand on Twitch because that was a two hour stream dragging pigs to this barn. So here's the little hay wagon with hay on it, getting ready to be loaded up into the hay loft back of the barn. Got some landscaping, got some trees. We needed spruce trees closer to the farm. There, the closest ones were up on that hill and every time I needed spruce, I'd run up there. So I put a lot of spruce trees here. I would appreciate if you'd replant so that they don't like get unspruced. But, um, so we still have quite a bit of space to do stuff with. I don't really know how much Skelly was planning on using. Uh, so I was also kind of thinking maybe we need to like, I don't know, move the cows closer to the edge, closer to the road, or um, I don't know. Over there I was thinking maybe we could put the, the swimming hole. Um, I'm not sure uh, what is, um, what he's got in mind, what else he'd like to see on the farm. The farm is described as having a whole ring of buildings, outbuildings. Um, and I think actually uh, we might want to put a cool looking wall slash fence around the farm. So um, I don't know what he's got planned for that. He's got a lot of plans and we haven't had a lot of chance to talk about it. So anyway, those are the things I'm working on made a barn, added enchanting to the flower forest, and anything to put off, you know, transforming that mountain. Added light posts to the well that I forgot was here, and to the signboard where you can put up a sign if you want, and I didn't move this horse to the barn because he's obviously waiting at the smithy to get new shoes. Aren't you? you your shoe shopping. Yes, you are. So there we go. That's what I've been doing on Faldor's farm. And yeah, I really appreciate the quick video, but I appreciate you watching. And I look forward to seeing you again when I actually get back to building the mountain. Oh, I gotta do that mountain. And it's just like, I'm just finding things to, to do instead of the mountain. It's very bad. I shouldn't, but I am. <laughs> I'll see you later. I'm Lady Vivian. I hope you can join me again sometime. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.